everybody, how's it going today? I just wanted to uh, let you know what's what we're going to be up to. Um, I think you're going to like this one. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thanks for everybody for subscribing to our channel, watching our videos. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, but uh, we're going to head over uh, to a dealership today, and uh, we got a couple that's going to ride with me. Uh, come on, Bailey, one out, and uh, Jim and a okay, Jim and Ashley are uh, have owned a classic furnace for since 2008 and they want to upgrade to the to the classic edge 760 they're heating a lot of area at their house and their shop and and so we're gonna head over there look at that wind um, it is actually uh, right around 10 degrees out today and we got wind gusts of upwards of 20 to 30 mile an hour so it is freaking freezing here in northern Michigan in uh, and in towards that end of February. So anyway, we're going to head over there and we're going to see what they're up to as far as Beaverton and kind of see uh, what kind of questions uh, Jim and Ashley have and get those answered and, and see what's going on. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed today and um, you might you should learn some stuff. So anyway, we'll we'll catch you in a little bit. So the, that comes with your molly guard that you can put in the water and astral. And okay. we put the astral in on the um, fire to keep the creosote down. Okay. Okay. All right. um, Pex hose, that's just plain. And if you put black hole in it, um, we'll give you the name, but it's going to... It's close to opening. And then it's going to open. The water temperature starts climbing. And my percentages start going up. So now my percentage is 77. And as I go up, now I'm running at 97% efficiency. That stove is doing what it should be doing. And the temperature is coming up. Now the temperature gets all the way up here to 186. It's now shut down because it's up to temperature. Look what my percentages are doing. They're dropping. Well, that's fine. My percentages can drop because now it's an idle mode again. 
It reached high, its maximum temperature, and now it's going down. And so that's what you're watching. My, uh, okay. I went down to Novi and picked up 355 gallon drums, and it was over oh. over $5,000. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so the central PEX is just one inch PEX. So what we'll do is run that thermal PEX. Yeah. 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 Definitely. And it's going to help. You become a dealer over there because there's a lot of people have to travel a long ways this way. Yeah. Come and get parked. Yep. It yeah. should be at between zero to yeah. 15. Yep. That's right, Kevin. That's correct. <laughs> uh, good. It just kicked down. Oh, yeah. All right now she's running 154. Oh, 69% is all. But it's still not smoking much at 69, but. When it gets to 100%, there's basically no smoke coming out of it. You know, and that's where you want to see it's at 100, but this just started up. So, yep. until it gets cranking for a little bit, they don't jump way up there. Yep. But, and this down here, she'll kick off. And then I usually you can hold this in, and then we'll get that fireball coming down there. Oh, mine needs cleaning out. Come on. It's got a big enough bed of coals in there. She ain't got the secondary burn going yet. Yeah, right. Good. Just kicked on it, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. See, see my camera? I'll leave her go a little bit longer. Maybe we can see a better fire than a little bit. That sweet afterburner need to clean it just about every day. So to keep that you all open, open yep. so that way it can you get you want that swirling yep. curl motion going yep. to help keep the heat in there and uh, when it gets ashes build up down in there you don't have the circle to make it make that circle burn. So that one there you just use the tool that comes with them and yep. reach in and what I'll do, like when I don't have hardly any ashes in here, I just take it and bring it out here and leave it lay right there. And I just leave it set like that and then probably about tomorrow or the next day is when I'll finish cleaning it. About once a week I clean the whole this thing. all out and clean the whole thing. Okay. The more often you clean it, the uh, better it's going to burn. And the less wood it's going to burn. Yeah. Yep start letting the ashes build up and that insulates and so the heat can't get to the water. Yep. And then I got my wafers out on mine back here right now. Okay. I wanted to see, I've been running them, I just pulled them out about a week and a half ago and I wanted to see the difference if I could see if a, how, how much wood more savings it was. But um, that's how plates. Yep, keep gets right to your plates. Nice, easy to keep them clean. Um, these, but mine, I, I don't know how much longer it's gonna go, but it's gonna go for a while. Yep. Yeah. I, this back here, I cleaned it about a week ago, okay. and that's and I cleaned the whole back. And yep. that's I had them already out when I cleaned the last time. But I got a layer build up on mine, and I wanted to see also if I pulled them out, if that would help let more heat up by it, yep. and it clean them that scale off keep, there. Keep so the scale then I, from I building up the, on it. Yep, and I it did it softened it, or burn it down, made it clean enough so I my stirring rod. I just took that and I worked it up and down, up and down. All fell right off, cleaned it right up, and right back to the metal. Okay. Um, so it makes a night. So yeah, if you do pull them out, it makes an easier way to clean it up yeah. if it gets bad. And okay. the reason why mine got bad is neglect. I didn't take care yeah. of it. Yeah. Well. well, I'd just like to uh, give a shout out to uh, Beaverton for letting us swing over and bother them today and answer questions. One thing about it is if you're going to look at an outdoor wood furnace is definitely make sure that they answer a lot of your questions like uh, these guys did. Tammy was answering a couple's question. Uh, 
so was Marv, so was Scott, so was Mick, uh, showing us a lot of details on uh, what it takes to operate that furnace. So we appreciate you uh, watching our videos and subscribing and giving us a thumbs up.